Hey y'all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. As you can see on the bar top, I have my personal collection of Weller bourbons. I've been very fortunate enough to, to get a, a special reserve, an antique 107. This Weller 12 was a gift from Trenton about a year or so ago, and that was that was an what a surprise that was. Fantastic. And this Weller foolproof but as you all know it's extremely hard to find these bottles and i i think trenton you have all these at home right yeah yeah he has all four of these at home too you have any more than that no i wish no. right so we don't have this what do you i don't even know what they are cypd, CYPD single barrel, single what, barrel. Else, what is that what it yeah. is I, I don't know what's about that one tornado one i don't know e, oh that's eh taylor tornado oh okay yeah different one see there's so many things he's way up into this stuff I'm not he's the one out there all the time you know I was fortunate enough to get some of this stuff but you know you know Trent he's out there he's hitting it and getting it so what I want to do with this video what I what I really want to try to achieve is to give you some excellent alternative choices for weeded bourbons because let's face it it is so hard to find these Weller products. And I have to admit, Trent, what do you think? What's your favorite of this group up here? What do you think? Probably the 12. The 12? Yeah. They're all good. See, now he took a second to try to decide. I mean, I was sipping on them just a touch before we did the video, just kind of get my palate going. That's what I want to say in the video. I really like this, this 107, man. It is really good. So for me, it's between the 107 and the foolproof. But let's face it, they're, they're all very good. If you happen to, to run across any of these at close to MSRP, they're outstanding, let's face it. But most of us, if not all of us, have a hard time. Actually, for me even, I've only seen, with, after I've collected these, I've only seen the Special Reserve, what, in the last year. I, I haven't even seen the 107, the 12 year, or the Full Proof in a year, Trent. Have you seen them out there? Uh, I've seen the 12 and the, the okay. Special Reserve, but I've seen the CYPB and the Single Barrel more than I have the, the 107 and the Full Proof. Really? Yeah. What? Well, uh, that proves one thing. He's out there way more than I am. But for me personally, I can, I can tell you, I, I've only seen the Special Reserve. So they're not going to come by that often. So let's get to it. We've got a lot to go over. I'm going to get you some excellent alternatives for a, a, a fantastic weeded bourbon. First thing I have to do, I have to do, I have a couple special mentions for you here. I've got the Bernheim Original. This was a subscriber recommendation, and whoever did that, thank you so much for that, because this is outstanding. It's not in the show today because it is a weeded whiskey. It's not a bourbon, but there's some great soft flavor notes in there for $25, $27, something like that. It's an awesome introductory bottle for a weeded whiskey. So Bernheim Original, if you see this, don't pass it up. It's very, very good. I also have to mention this one. This is Trenton's bottle, of course. This isn't mine. You know better than that. This is Trenton's bottle, but 1792 Sweet Wheat. Fantastic. It's about how much, Trenton? 35 bucks. 35 bucks if you get it close to MSRP. If you can find it for $35, $40, buy it because it's very, very good. I didn't put it in the show because this is another one that's very hard to find. We were, we were digging into this uh, this video just uh, last night or the night before, and I was tasting this and nosing it. It has a spectacular lemon meringue pie nose to me, and the flavors are great as well. So special mention here, 1792 Sweet Wheat, if you can find it, pick it up. All right, let's get into my choices, okay? These are going to be some solid weeded bourbon choices that you should be able to find on your shelf in your local liquor store. Very first one. L Larceny. I mean, Larceny, it's so good. It has an undisclosed mash bill, so we don't know what the mash bill is. It is 92 proof. Let's see what we have in the glass for this one. Mm. Really, really good. This bottle is what, Trent, about 30 bucks, yep. roughly? Maybe a little less, a little more? About 30 bucks for this bottle, 92 proof. You're gonna get some, some really nice baking spice notes there, a little bit of cinnamon, and really nice sweetness in there. And to me, it relates very well to this uh, Weller 
uh, special reserve. You know, and if you can find the Weller Special Reserve for MSRP, it's going to be in that middle 30 range, right? 32. Trend, 32, 35 bucks, you know, if you're lucky to get it. But this Larceny, don't pass it up. It's excellent. It's very comparable to this Special Reserve. Next bottle I want to show you. Maker's Mark Cask Strength. What's the mash bill on this one, Trenton? Uh, the mash bill on the Maker's Mark Cask Strength is 70% corn, 16% wheat, and 14% malt. Okay, some wheat in there, but yet pretty high on the corn, right? So this is 110 proof here, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, Trenton, because all these bottles are up here. I'm not facing them. It's about 110 proof. So to me, I've got the 107, have 107 proof with the Antique 107. And what's your full proof? 114. 114. So to me, I'm kind of comparing those two. Let's see what we have in the glass. And that's fantastic. It's really, really good, guys. You got some really nice deep caramel notes there. Maybe a touch of cinnamon. It's not super complex. I'll grant you that. But for $40. Forty dollars for this bottle. I mean, it, it is somewhat comparable to the 107 and the full proof. Is it as good? Maybe not quite. You have an argument there, and that's fine. But for forty dollars, you can find it on your shelf at your store for an excellent high proof weeded bourbon. Don't pass up Maker's Mark Cast Strength. Next one in line. This one is somewhat new to the bar. I think Trent, what we got? We bought this like two or three days ago. So I don't know a lot about it, but Wilderness Trail Bottle and Bond, it's their weeded bourbon. What is the mash bill on that, Trenton, while I'm sipping on this here real quick? Mash bill is 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Again, I'm a little bit new to this. I haven't really dug into it that much, but it's... An it's an excellent bottle. It's um, some honey, maybe some honey, and, and definitely a really nice oak presence in there too, and maybe just a touch of a of a, a hint of almond, possibly. Now, comparable to what's here for the Wellers, I don't know if I could compare them exactly to be quite truthful with you and honest with you, but. I really feel this is a solid, solid weeded bourbon for about 52 bucks that you should try. You should be able to find this. It's an excellent, excellent option. Very next one. This is one, this is one I'm looking forward to. Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. Trent, again, I'm going to take a little test of this. What is our mash bill on the Old Elk weeded bourbon. This has the highest uh, disclosed uh, weeding, weeding, weeded percentage and it is 51% corn, 45% wheat and 4% mm. malted barley. Mm. Quite a bit of, quite a bit of wheat in there compared to the others. Quite a bit of wheat. Guys, let me just tell you something. This is kind of new. You can see my levels here, but I've had this bottle in the bar before. So I am familiar with this weeded bourbon. But between my brother and I, this is fantastic. It's an excellent Excellent weeded bourbon. It is about 70 bucks. I'm going to be honest with you. It's probably about 70 bucks, but I will promise you this It's around the same proof points as your Weller 12 and Trenton, I'm telling you right now, I would compare this all day long with Weller 12 and this Old Elk weeded bourbon. It is that good. It's one not to miss. If you want to bump up that price point just a touch to the $70 range, don't pass up the Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. Last but not least, we've highlighted this, this before and I gotta put it in there again. Rebel Yell 10 Year Weeded Bourbon. It is a single barrel, so, you know, taste may vary a little bit in the single barrel. I think Trenton, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna take a little sip of this one, but this one here, I, I believe that the mash bill is undisclosed. Is that correct? Correct, yep. Wow. Really, really good. I think it's the most complex 
of the weeded bourbons that I've, the alternatives for Weller that I've showed you today. It's got a dusty characteristic like an older bourbon there. A little bit of hint of citrus or orange. There's definitely a beautiful oak presence. And um, mm, it's just so, it's so good. Yeah, beautiful. Maybe a little brown sugar. Hey, Palace or Denver, you can go on and on about this particular bottle. Now, this, this bottle of Trenton is probably, what, about 80 bucks, roughly, you think? And, and you don't see it all the time, but I do see it once in a while. Yeah. I see it. So if I see it once in a while, I know you're seeing it more than once in a while. Yeah. So you can find it. It is $80, but it's well worth the price tag. But I, I will mention this. I always have to be honest with you folks. I really, I, I, I always have to be. Trenton's, this is Trenton's bottle. I told him to bring it because his bottle is a little better than my bottle. I'll be honest with you, there are single barrels. Single barrels vary in taste a little bit. My bottle is not quite as good as Trenton's bottle. Why is that anyways? Maybe before he leaves, I'll do a little switcheroo. But anyways, I still think it's very complex. It's, it's an excellent, excellent bottle. I think, honestly, it would compare all day long to this, this Antique 107, the 12, you know. So, hey, that's what I have for you today. I, I, I just wanted to give you a, a really good uh, set of options for quality weeded bourbons. You know, are they better than the Weller that's sitting out here? That, you know, let's face it, we all know. These Wellers are fantastic. They're excellent. If you can find those at MSRP or close to it, fantastic buys. But if you can't, these right here are outstanding replacements for these bottles. I hope you enjoyed it. I personally had a great time putting this video together, so I sure hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate each and every one of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.